We acknowledge our previous transgressions and vow not to repeat them. With others, we can be patient and tolerant. Isn't this the actual meaning of repentance? If we practice in this manner consistently, the Lord will protect us and safeguard us from being carried away by disasters. But is this truly true? Whoever commits sin is the servant of sin, the Lord Jesus once declared. And the servant does not remain in the house indefinitely, but the son does, John 8 verses 34 to 35. We acknowledge our previous transgressions and vow not to repeat them. With others, we can be patient and tolerant. Isn't this the actual meaning of repentance? If we practice in this manner consistently, the Lord will protect us and safeguard us from being carried away by disasters. But is this truly true? Whoever commits sin is the servant of sin, the Lord Jesus once declared. And the servant does not. We can be humble and patient after we obtain faith in the Lord. We can help others. We can make sacrifices, spend ourselves, preach the gospel, bear witness to the Lord, and we can have some exterior good behaviors after we gain faith in the Lord. However, we cannot deny that our corrupt dispositions, such as hubris, deception, rigidity, evil, and viciousness, have not been cleaned, and we are still capable of sinning at any time. For example, we know that the Lord expects us to be honest, but when something threatens our personal interests, we can't help but tell lies and engage in deception, controlled by our arrogant, conceited nature. We always expect others to do what we say, no matter what, and when they don't, we get angry. And when disasters and trials strike, we complain and blame the Lord. These are only a handful of the possibilities. Our sins are similar to weeds in that they regrow after being chopped down. We do not change even if we cry terribly every day as we pray and confess our sins. Is this really repentance? Who can say with certainty that God will protect such a person in the midst of disasters? True repentance occurs when a person's satanic corrupt dispositions are cleansed and changed to the point where they no longer do evil, sin, or resist God. It is at this point that people are able to genuinely submit to God and worship Him. Only such people are eligible to inherit God's promises and rewards, as well as to enter the kingdom of heaven. You shall therefore be holy, since I am holy, states the Bible, Leviticus 11 verse 45. Blessed are those who keep his commandments, for they shall have right to the tree of life and shall enter the city through the gates, Revelation 22 verse 14.